Hey YouTube, so I'm making a blur clip for you guys so you guys can see how you go about this. So, the first clip was this was in the vehicle and I was figuring out how to do it. So, when I was putting the screws back in this, I was doing them wrong. So, if, you're, if the screws do not turn in, turn on into it like they should, then you got it backwards. It has to go like this. So, as you see with mine, it's all gummed up. I gotta go through, clean this, and hopefully that's the issue on why mine wasn't working right. Because, so basically, these things right here, these are the turner. So you're able to do it by hand now. Before, you couldn't do that by hand. Before, that was... Hard to do by hand, but now you can do a little bit by hand, which is good. Let's see how this one. So, when this is in the vehicle, what do you do? First thing you do is you unbolt this. I can't remember the size of the thing. It's one fourth, if I'm right. So you unbolt that, then you get these two. You grab one of these, pull the plastic part off. And you remember what part, make sure you remember what part goes into the thing. I don't think it actually matters, does it? Yeah, it doesn't really. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't matter. That's good. Take your other end and you put it in a drill. So I'm going to sit you guys down real quick. Sorry for the loud drill, guys. Want to get it straight? You don't want it bending or anything like that. Okay, now that that's in, you take your drill, shove it through this. Again, if you're doing this with both hands, it'll be easy. There you go. Now you gotta make note of what side this is on. Side, side for I think that's the right one. I'm on the right direction. And okay, and if now when I take this out, come off it. Yeah, back up a bit. There we go. I don't want that stuck like that. And then you do it for the same for the other side. So when it's when you're going this one, you you go a certain way. When you go to this one, you go opposite direction. So this is just a this clip at the very end is just gonna explain to you guys better than the very first clips part. So it's just redoing what I did in the first clip, but it's gonna, it's doing a better job at explaining it. So yeah, when you unbolt this, and yeah, if I'm alright, the wire was up like that. So yeah, if you unbolt, if your screws don't turn in, then you got, gotta flip it around and do it that way. This, I gotta figure out how to get this back together. Cause as you see, it's out like that. And I can't get it out unless I drill it out. So I could drill it out, but I'm not doing that. Because there's that right there, which I gotta drill out. I don't think there's any other way to get it out. But drill out. So yeah, this is just a clip explaining to you guys how to get your 9404 Mustang Power Rack out. A lot of forms I saw said that there's two drive points. And you get like a Robertson bit, and I don't see that on mine. Some might have that. But the way mine is, it's just very simple. Mine came out of a 97 GT. 97 Mustang GT. A lot of people, when I say GT, they don't know what I'm talking about. So I had to add the Mustang, because that's what it is. It's a 97 Mustang GT. That's what mine came out of. The racks, the power seat racks throughout the years will look different. From what I've seen. They, but overall, this way is basically this little mechanism here. It's basically the same concept. Might ju it might just look different on yours. I could go through and upgrade this 
if I wanted to. But I saw a video on how to upgrade this, and the, they said it would be easy, not a lot of modifications. They did a lot of modifications to it. If the stuff, if the parts for that kit came basically the right size, you wouldn't have to do modifications. So with me, I'm not going to modify. I'm not going to waste, like, I think it's like 200 Canadian Canadian for that kit. I'm not going to waste 200 Canadian. I'm just going to... I could just buy basically a new one from Records for like maybe 150 bucks for a new one of these if I wanted to. So hopefully I can get this back together the way it's supposed to be. Put it together and clean it up and hopefully it'll work the way it should. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope this video helped you. Hey YouTube. So after doing a bunch of research and crap trying to get this to go forward I couldn't figure it out and I finally found a way. To get this forward so if you're having the same issue i was having where your power seats in this and your 9404 mustang stopped working i have found the situation i have found the solution for you so it's because this is all gummed up as you can see it's all gummed up this motor here is supposed to turn these and this for example would just go like this it's just been like that i wouldn't have any power because it's all gummed up this is a part. So I gotta reassemble this. So if you're having the same issue I was having your 94 Oprah Mustangs, don't worry, I'll teach you how to do it. So to to get to this stuff I'm at, I just do my seats up, there's a bolt here, bolt here, and the same on the other side. They're 10 millimeters. So for the ones on this side, you're gonna want to grab a long. You want a long 10 mil, and it's right here. These are the holes right here, as you can see. So for this one, this one is the tricky one. So I had to pull this back to get in there. Get this right there up on the screw. And this one's really tricky to get. But once you get it loose enough to the point where once you get it down most of the way, then you switch to your short that way. Yeah, you switch to your short one that way. Well, when you switch your short one, you can get it out. Your ratchet out, no problem. So, same on the on these ones here. You can use the short saw, no problem. You just get down here. So you just get down here like that. Get your socket, feel where the board is, get it on there. This one here was tricky as well. I had to sit on my seat and do it because I found it really tricky. I found that real easy to do because it's right here. Once you get it on there, then it was really easy. So you need a long 10 millimeter for these two. Once you get all those out, tilt, you tilt the seat back and then once you tilt the seat back, you can unplug your wiring harnesses. Or basically unplug the wires from it. Then you can do what I just did. You, or what I did is you set it up on like that. I unplug. You don't have to take this out. Your power seat one. I took it out because I was wanting to see what it was doing. And this just kept going like this. That's all it would do. So I, I thought I thought this whole thing was shot. Don't buy a new one. If you have the time, clean it up. I'm probably going to do a process of how to clean it up. So, this piece doesn't have to come off, by the way. This little piece, I took it off by accident. Because I thought, you take this more out. And this is what does it. This is up and down. So, for these bullets, this right one, you're going to need a 1-4. So you want one fourth. There you go. That's what you want for this. And you get on there, you take these right out. These are already loose. So you take these out on the thing. You read must be informed saying that there's manual port things. You get a socket in there or whatever, a cube socket. I can't figure that out. So yeah, see there, 
falls off. This fall, for the first time when I was doing it, this falls right off like that. You got your screws, you put them somewhere where you can remember. What you should do is go like this. So that way you can reassemble. It like that. Oh. Put them on like that, and then my other one went somewhere. And then you just go down there, hit it itself. Darn thing, I hate that. I hate how I did that. Oh, I don't want it. There we go. Try, try your best not to lose those. So then you go over here and start from the bad angle. I don't have a tripod yet. Like that, and you put that back on like that. Put that out your way. Here, just came out again. Darn it. Okay. It's hard to hold a phone and do this one handed. Okay. There we go. Well, move that out of the way so you grab these, take them out. So all you need is just one of these. This, remember what end go, go, so make sure you take note of what end was slide in there. Get it, you slide it in, and you can do it by hand now as you can feel. Because it was all, but before you could do it by hand for a little bit and then it would get tight. I need to take this forward so I can get to my last two bolts. So you grab your drill, so on. Take note of what end goes in again. That end goes in. So this end goes to the drill. Take that, and then your drill, and I'll be back in the next on the next clip. So now that it's on your drill, get it. We go it in. Uh -oh. Get it all the way like so. Uh, I'm going the other way. So you hit this. You change the right direction. Same with the other side. Keep it on the same direction. So one hand you could get this, go like this, shove it in with one hand or whatever it would be easier, but I mean doing this one whole hand. So you have one hand holding the drill, then another hand holding this. I can't wait till we get a tripod. So you go like that. Okay, so it's opposite. Yeah, so you go the opposite way, don't make a mistake I did. And uh, see? It's moving forward. See how it's moving forward? Now it's stopped. I can't hit my bolt. Oops, shoot, I am. Okay, <laughs> I do this again. Yeah, I put the bolt back in so I want to forget where it went. Like this. And bring that down like that. And you unscrew this. These two that are holding this on the floor are 15 millimeters. So you grab some of this stuff. This stuff works freaking good. Yeah, so that stuff works awesome. I was surprised how well it worked. You just don't even have to put really any effort into it to get it to come out. To basically break them free. So I'm trying to get this one out. I want to show you how I can get to the back. Yeah, 
Yeah, so don't put the bolts back in like I did. There we go. That's out. Push this down. And bring it forward until you can ask us to at the back. Oh, hey, there's five cents there. Cool, I'm found some money in this car. Sometimes you gotta go ahead and, and then don't forget you gotta go to the other side as well. Because they work parallel to each other. So this is Rob B. Yes, not Rob BTS because it's not Rob behind the screen, but this is doing it raw. So then you get this, shove it in like that, get up like that. Again, this is hard for one hand. You have one hand holding the drill, and then you can wiggle that one in like that, and you gotta do it the opposite way. <laughs> Sometimes it comes loose on the drill. So far this happened to me two times. No, it's not loose. It's really gummed up still. Sometimes you get your hand and do that as well. But at the same time you gotta go back and forth on this. So you wanna get this one back in here. Like so. Then you gotta switch the direction again. So remember that, you guys. Every time you go to the nurse side, opposite. Okay. Keep bringing it forward until you get to those fast two bolts. And it'll stop. And that means you gotta go to the other side once it does that. Oh, I found more money. And since making money on this car, yeah, that should be good enough, I think, to get my 15 mil on it. 15 mil. Yep, boom. Now I can just take it out. Oh, and then I'll do a video on how to clean this for you guys as well. In case you want to know on how to clean it, because I might, I might as well just clean it instead of buying a new one. Because eBay prices for these things are expensive. I might as well buy a cap back exhaust for that pri for the price eBay wants for one of these. Yeah, we have my tarp comes in, so I'm going to on this out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna need some of this stuff. Make sure you show. Soak it really good. Don't be get scared of how much you're using. If I had a brake bar, this would be easier. Sadly, I don't. Am I on the right way? No, I think I'm on the right way. I think I am. I can't ignore. I have a drop. I feel like you started the truck off now. Okay, let's get really on the right way. Yep, there we go. Just like that. Yep, there we go. Do the same with the other side and it'll come right off. So that's how you guys do it. So if you if your 9404 Mustangs have the same issue, you now know that it's not the motors that could be gummed up. Just had to get in there and clean it, so I might as well give it a, a clean if I can. And do a video to show how to clean it if I do. So this is just to show you how to get your power seat forward because I can't find any videos or anything on how to freaking get it forward on a 9404. And I did a ton of research and still, still nothing. Just a lot of wasted time when I could have came out here and did it myself. Or when I could have, because I play around with things, so I like to 
tinker with things and whatever if I know how. And then that's how I found this out. It's from playing around. So that's how I figured out how to do it. So now you guys don't have to keep doing research. Now you guys know that you basically unbolt this right here in just two bolts and then one fourth. Fourth and then you get a drill. Shove that piece through. Remember what end goes in here. Once you do this end, remember you come when you come to this end, you switch the direction. So that's how you guys do it. Hope you enjoyed this video.